Good morning. Today is chapter number 18, 2022. And I have a special game for here, for you to play. Over here. Basically something special over here. Uh, from time to time I did, I do some interesting game. In this game, I basically refuse to take Black Bishop. But first, I'll have four puzzles for you. This is the first one. Pawn has just moved to f6. What should I do? Next move. Bishop has just moved to d7. What should I do? All right, next one. Bishop has just captured a pawn on c8. What should I do? All right. Pawn has just moved to f5. What should I do? All right. Now that that's taken care of, let's begin the game. The opening is nothing special. Uh, this is Black trying to take initiative and very aggressive, very aggressive. So that's a weakness, but too early to tell at this point. And yep, I'm taking it up. Basically, I give up the Red Castle, and as you can tell from the evaluation here, basically Black has an advantage because this pawn is hanging. So, next move. And let's check. So, the Knight's guarding this pawn. Now it's my turn to take the pawn. This pawn is hanging. And I wonder if I should, you know, do this one first. But if I do that one first, that one's taken up. So, yeah, let's take the bishop first. And I was kind of hoping, like, they would screw up the pawn structure. But, this pawn is basically isolated, so that can be a target. Man is pretty solid. So situation is about even. And as you can tell, the evaluation is zero, so even position. And this looks going to be harassing the king, especially since the king pretty forward, you know, uh, ahead of other pieces. So, yeah, the king's pretty forward over there. Sometimes I like to push my king forward ahead of any other pieces. At uh, my current level 1400, it's very rare that I get to do it. But 1200, sometimes I do that. So, next move. It's basically, you want to check at the hero here. So over here, in fighting, uh, basically, fighting the trade. But it's not really the trade, is it? Because the rook's not going to take the knight. So uh, after that, what will I do? Over here, over here. So not much to do. So may as well over here, because that's a fork. That's a fault, right? So I'm I'm winning this one, and evaluation is so that's good move. You know, I probably should put that as a puzzle. Anyway, move 
move here move here uh, just a lot of tactical grind basically it's not at this point you know it's not fun at all and that's useless move because it's take, taken care of so I just get a tempo free pawn now this is the first puzzle I got a free pawn over here but did you get that? What is uh, my best move? So, of course, I'm take this one and say, hey, free pawn. And that's what I did. But if you notice there, the bishop is not being guarded by anything. So I could have just taken that one over here with evaluation plus 10. So that's the answer to the first puzzle. I decided not to take the bishop. So take the Just keep harassing the bishop. And I'm trying to avoid a draw here because I have three points over here all in line. So as long as I have these three points, I'm not going to accept a draw. And that, I think that's a mistake. Uh, no, it's not a mistake because uh, square over there is taken. So, and this is puzzle number two. Puzzle number two. Black has just moved the bishop to d7. What should I do? And this is what I did. <laughs> Again, the bishop is not being guided by anything like why don't you take the bishop? Like, I'm trying not to take the bishop, you know. <laughs> so, that's answer number two. Put everything into the dark square, basically. And that's on passion, memory, uh, or how it is to say it, it's friends. Basically, it means in passing. And king take. That's kind of surprise to me, basically. And that's kind of a mistake on my part. I mean, I should have, I should have basically take care of this better. So, you know, like three points over there. Oh well. And that's a very strong move, of course. A strong move. And over here, bishop cut the square naturally. Mm, I if I do this, it's just going to be wasted over there. So, good. And uh, this is puzzle number three. Black has just captured the pawn at c8. What should I do? Spare the bishop, right? First, first time we spare the bishop. Second time we spare the bishop. Third time, I'll just take it. <laughs> There's no reason for me to spare the bishop anymore. And now that I planted my pawns over there. So there's no reason for me to spare the bishop anymore. So there you go. Now the trick here is to get the rook coordinated so I can take this pawn over there while guarding, while safeguarding this last pawn. So it's just a tactical grinder. Boom. Uh, so at this point I start thinking maybe I can just sacrifice the rook over here both rooks for this pawn but as long as there's pawn over here I don't want to sacrifice the rook especially since if I take this one rook take this one rook take this one rook take this one and king move over here and king move over there and got that one so no I don't want to do that because I had to lose the pawn over there also. Leave 
little tactical shot over here. Over here, uh, should I go here or should I go here? If I go here, it's gonna take it over there. But then, what, you, what am I gonna do? It goes over here, it goes back over there, and I'm not gonna do anything, just lost the point. So, try mixing up, mixing up, basically. And suddenly, the, the rook has to move. If the rook move this way, I can take this way. If the rook move this way, I can take the pawn. Of course, the king can also do that. And this is interesting because I could have done it this way. And the king has to move basically. But yeah, it's the king has to move. So anyway, this is the fourth puzzle. What should I do? And the evaluation here is 53, so you know there's tactical trick to it. And this is what I did. Check. There's no there's only one move black can do and that's it. And the rest is no problem. Boom, boom, boom. And I could have just taken the pawn directly over here. Maybe I should have done that. But anyway, black design and that's the game. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.